What's up today guys? So we're gonna start off today by doing what we didn't do yesterday which is some short mail time uh, and opening up some of Jesse's boxes uh, for his build. So uh, we're just gonna get down to it here. These are, I think, uh, I opened some of this stuff. I'm Open pretty sure that was, that was for you. I don't know what any of this stuff is. Kinda, sorta. More? Oh, Merca. Merca fidget spinners. This is from Jimmy Burris in Eldon, Missouri. Hi Greg, hope you enjoy the keychain. Love the videos. Thank you. Let's see what we got here. I don't have a name on this. Look at this keychain. Oh, fancy. Hot dang. Fancy, fancy. Come as keychain, man. That's awesome. I like that. That's going right on something. I don't have a name on this one, so whoever sent these yeah, Merca, I don't, I don't Merca think, fidget spinners. Yeah, thank I think you. you got enough fidget spinners now. Yeah, I could like do them with my toes now. And Big thank you, Jimmy Burris, man. Thank you. I did actually open this up. This is a picture of the toe pig from Alex Yoder. Give that a check out. Very nice drawing, sir. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. That's sweet. This one, which is kind of heavy, and it says energy drink outlet and it's addressed to mr send it so we're gonna have to get this to him i think we're actually gonna see him a little later today so we'll give that to him in person i never had these before Ooh, amazon fulfillment so we don't know who <coughs> this is ultra blacks i never had them before we'll have to put them right in the fridge this is from mike robertson whoa <laughs> oh beard balm <laughs> So this is, uh, I didn't even read the whole thing, but the first paragraph says, I noticed you rocking the stubble, which is absolutely right because I can't grow a beard, and that a bunch of friends had beards. So I thought you guys could use some beard care products to keep them looking good and growing long. I would honestly love to grow a beard. But I, I literally, you know, we're, we're, we're beard challenged. Mike Robertson, 1740beardbomb.com. Um, basically, the rest of this note says that, you know, basically everything is different. There's a bunch of different products in here uh, for taking care of the scruff or a beard if you're actually able to grow one. So go check them out, 1740beerbomb.com. I'll put their information right here. Uh, thanks again, Mike. I appreciate it. Maybe now we'll be able to grow a beard. Ooh, white ones. White ones. White ones. White ones. Uh, so I do know that one of these monsters is from... Our good buddy Sully over here, uh, he actually sent me a Facebook message sending that he was sending stuff out. So, a uh, huge thank you to him. He's sent us monsters before. Huge thank you to him. Thanks, Sully. The next one, ooh, got a big air dog sticker on it. I wonder who that's from. Ah! Holy heck! Look at this! This is our first shop banner. Holy crap! I need a bigger shop now. Air dog, air dog. Dude, that's awesome. That's so cute. Got a whole bunch of air dog stickers. <laughs> a whole lot of air dog shirts. Sweet. Whole lot of air dog hats. And some filters. That is awesome. Sweet. Shout out to Air Dog. Man. Big shout That's out to awesome. Air Dog. Thank you guys. Greg and crew, thank you for taking the time to make these video, great videos and pushing our product even when you don't have to. See, you know, I don't have to. They're not I I don't have to say Air Dog at all. Right. Sincerely Pure Flow Air Dog. Thank you guys so much. We appreciate it. Again, like I said, I don't have to say Air Dog. Uh, at all. I really do believe in their product. I really do believe that they have the best lift pump on the market. So go check out Air Dog. And that's about it besides giving Mr. Send it. Oh, we got to open up Jesse's. my stuff. Jesse's got to open up his stuff. This one's from our Mikey G himself. So as Greg mentioned uh, in a video earlier this week. Go ahead. He, uh, I couldn't help but look. <coughs> I ordered everything that's left to do on my truck. And no, it's never done, but here's some of it. Greg? So, 
injector connector tubes because obviously we're going to be doing injectors. Well, I might have just given it away. We're going to be doing injectors. So <laughs> yeah. you, this is a not completely necessary, but to alleviate any problems down the road. You stop flapping that. I can't help but, it. Uh, we always replace the connector tubes. I'll go into full detail while we're, when we're doing this exactly everything, but new connector tubes because we're going to be doing injectors. Hamilton valve springs. Heavy duty, 103. So we got valve springs. Uh, basically, if you've been following along on Jesse's build, we basically left everything inside the valve cover to last. Uh, injectors, valve springs, push rods. Uh, what am I forgetting? Head studs. Boxes shaped and kind of heavy like... Uh, like... Bed studs! Woo so these are 625s, not 425s or 2000 like their uh, original name is. We always use 625s on pretty much everything. Um, not that I don't believe 425s are a bad product. Uh, it's just a fact of 625s can be reused over and over again. Uh, they're just stronger, more durable, have a higher torque rating. So I've used 625s on pretty much every single truck that's here. That's what I always get. They're more money up front, but you know, they're, they're a long-term investment product is the way I look at it. <laughs> Last but not least, we have a box from Fleece Performance. Uh, huge shout out to them for helping us along uh, with this build and getting everything out to us right away and answering any questions we have. Uh, as you guys know, awesome stuff from Fleece. Jesse's whole truck is pretty much Fleece. Yeah. Yeah, we, it turned into the fleece mobile. Yep. So this is one of their uh, 10 millimeter CP3s that we're gonna be using. We pull it out to show The them. last piece of the puzzle that is probably not here, I don't think, is injectors, which are also from fleece. Uh, basically, Jesse's setup is gonna be a 10 millimeter pump uh, with a set of 100% over injectors. So we'll go over that in full detail yeah. when we install everything. But again, huge thank you to Fleece Performance. Yeah, absolutely. If you own a common rail Dodge or they offer a lot of Duramax stuff, go check them out. Their website is amazing. They offer just top quality. Uh, one of those things where you, you get what you pay for. Absolutely. Um, you look I don't know. I don't know what happened. Uh, so... <laughs> Like, like I was mentioning, uh, you might look at some of their price tags and wonder why it's so high, but honestly, it's because their quality is the best. That's pretty much what, what it comes down to. Yes, sir. Uh, so we're happy to uh, support them and uh, recommend their product because, again, we, we believe that yeah. it is one of the best, if not the best, uh, on the market, not only, you know, pretty much everything they offer. You yeah. know, they don't push out cheap crap. No. It's all high quality, high, high quality stuff. stuff. So, you know, that's that's basically what it boils down to. Mm -hmm. So, that is going to do it for mail time. We are now going to clean up all this stuff. I think we're going to head to Mr. Sendit's house. Uh, he's got the exhaust strap for the hood stack. We're going to probably do that uh, to kick off this video. He can open this. Uh, and see what it is. All right, guys, we'll catch up with you here in a little bit. Load her up. We are now stocked up, boys. Thank you. No, we're not going to drink them all in a week. We're all not going to die. You know, one a day keeps the doctor away. Yeah. Where are No Boost and Greg A going now? I'll give you guys one guess. One guess. No, it's not Johnny Sentence yet. I was gonna say, I already told him we're going to John's. To get fuel. All gas lights on. Old Greg A, no gas over there. No yeah. gas, fuel, sorry. Yeah, what's gas?
This one just says, oh, it must be to Mr. Send It. <laughs> but it's, it must be, what's it? it must be Italian. This is Fragile. Fragile. Or from France. Mr. Send It. I wonder what it is. It says energydrinkoutlet.com. Oh, I wonder. <laughs> <laughs> Send it getting some rocket fuel. Put the old shank tip. Because, you know, knives are screwdrivers, so. And pry bars. And you definitely pull that right into your stomach. Only, only the, uh... Is there a letter in there? I, I can't read. <laughs> got the old Johnny Mower going. <laughs> we got the variety pack, son. Look at Holy this. Holy smokes. Got sugar free. Got blue. And yeah, bro. And red. And original. Dude, this is cool. Have you ever? I've never seen such a thing. Oh, no. Who sent it to me though? I don't know. This is always. This is always. This, this is a dilemma. This is always the dilemma. Maybe it's I like should put the knife away. Yeah, it'd probably be a good idea. Better Thank you, whoever it is. He better hit me or up well, when he watches this video. The motor smells with. like she's getting a little hot, buddy. Oh, uh, it's got a little oil leak. <laughs> Standard, <laughs> standard send it stuff. So do we want to give a little update uh, on your on uh, the, parts? On like, no, the hell. Oh. No. <laughs> Is your head going to be done by this week or no? Eh, one and a half weeks lead time, I heard. So. Oh, okay, so maybe not by this weekend. What's the rush? I didn't. I'm just wondering. I'm just trying to give the people just, the update. The only rush I have is we're supposed to have a gorgeous week this week. And... That's cool. I, this I shirt so does not fit send it. Does it? Is it not? It's brand new. No, it fits you. But did you read it? No, I never read it. Safe. Safely is the key word in it. Love you, bye. Love you, bye. Are you, you're not going to dead fish me like you did the other guy. Yeah, yeah, you're tickling me now. Get out of here. <laughs> Give you the old finger bang. Yeah. I always do it too. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Oh, thank you. Love you. Alright. Scooter Squad! Hogging. They're out hogging, boys. I actually got out on my bike the other day. Did you really? Yeah. Yeah, for the first time in a while. Alright. I'll stand her up on a wheel. Oh, just on one for quite a while. Not that I can know that activity. That was in Mexico. Out here cruising down 78. <clears throat> we find Greg A. Gas Job. Greg A. Gas Job. Got the old SRT, yeah. SRT 10 behind us. Looks identical to a tow pig, just a gas job. <laughs> Bye channel, bye, bye, love you, bye. Yes, he's leaving us, see ya. All right, guys, just about nine o'clock, obviously back at the house from John's. Uh, what we wrapped up the evening with was getting the uh, new fluid damper on there uh, with the fleece barring tool, ARP bolts, uh, made sure we use the ARP lube. Uh, I always Loctite the bolts to the uh, crank. I've always done that. Uh, I've actually had a couple come loose on me, uh, but using red Loctite, making sure everything's clean, flat surfaces, I've never had a problem. So that's the way I install those. Um, that is completely done now. Uh, I got a new tensioner. I actually painted that, so that is just drying now. Uh, I got to put the fan assembly back on there, get that cleaned up. Uh, the cover, I still need to drill and tap, which I totally forgot. I don't have a bolt for, uh, for the side. Actually, I'll show it to you. This is just sitting on here. This port right here, I still want to drill and tap. Even though I have the ATS plug and technically it should take care of that, I just want to drill and tap that. I've seen other people do it as well. So I just want to do that just for precautionary purposes. So 
The hood stack is completely wrapped up now. Uh, the zip ties were just temporary. Uh, I used the uh, steel uh, bands, kind of twist them together. Gives it a nice clean look. Got two down there, two on here, but that's pretty much all wrapped up as well. I have to paint the cover. Also have this factory third gen piece for the intercooler, which basically pretty much aligns right up with the factory cooler. So that's the piece we're gonna use there uh, for now, like I mentioned before, until we figure out what we're doing with the uh, intercooler. I do still wanna put a second gen intercooler in this thing, uh, but for now we'll probably throw the stock one in it just to get it back on the road, hopefully very, very soon. But that is the plan for now. Alrighty guys, Project Pap Scrap is coming together. It's not really flying together, but piece by piece, day by day, it is coming together. So I appreciate the heck out of you guys watching. I appreciate all the support, like, you know, more than you guys even know, I appreciate it. So thanks as always. Hit that like button before you leave. Subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you guys tomorrow. See you.